the drawing is finished and it is time to prepare it for animation in After Effects. Right now every shape is in one layer. We need to separate all the parts that we are planning to animate into layers. It's necessary but pretty easy step. We need to create a new layer for each part and copy that part for the existing layer to the new. Before starting you need to activate layer panel. You can achieve it here in Windows or just press F7 command. Ok, I will create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. If you double click on the layer you can change its name. Now we have a new layer ready for front arm. I will select the front arm and move it in a new layer using cut and paste in place. For cut I will use Ctrl plus X keyboard command. Now I am going to select a new layer and copy the arm using Ctrl plus F keyboard command. I use paste in place or Ctrl plus F when I want to copy the object to the exact same position as before. I will use the same way to copy the other parts of the character. The head can be in one layer, but I will divide it in four parts because that way the animation will be more dynamic with more animated parts. As you can see the back arm is above the back leg and it should be the opposite. By moving the order of layers I can control what will be in the fore side and what in the back side. I will add another layer for a shadow. We don't need the old layer anymore. Ok, before I save the file I want to add some parts which I will use during the animation. For the example, I need the arm in two positions. The current position and the one which I will use during a hit. I will copy the front arm and place it here for now. I will use ungroup it and from the existing shades make a new position of the arm. Something like this. I will need this position of the arm during the hit. I will group the shapes and create a new layer for a new arm. It is very important that the position of the shoulder is the same in both arms position. I will make the new position of the arm invisible by clicking on this eye icon. It will be saved but not visible. I will do the same with the back arm. Our hero is a super fighter but even the best got hit. At that moment his eyes are closed so I'll create a layer for that. That moment will look like this, but for now his eyes will stay wide open. Ok, now we need to save the file and we are completely ready for animation in After Effects.